Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Louie. I'm going to be doing a reading for the collective. Um, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. I do like to interact with you guys, so let me know if it resonated or where you're tuning in from. All right. Um, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. All the information will be found there. If you guys are interested in purchasing my book, it's called An Awakening, A Person's Guide to Healing and Manifesting. It is on Amazon in the description box. You'll see an Amazon link that will take you directly to there. All right, guys. Um, if you guys want more information, visit me at www.spiritualmediumtarot.com. Okay, and you'll find more information there. And let's go ahead and jump right in for the collective. Someone rising, well, the collective. <laughs> let's go ahead and see what we got for the collective. Angel guys, spirit guys, I did a little like clear and precise messages for my collective. First one that comes out, and I had it, it came out during pre shuffle too. So, cycle. All right, so you have a crazy ex obsessed and won't let you go. All right, you see how they're watching through the window all right this person is a psycho all right crazy x what else we got all right so you got fake busy what else some of some of you could be saying that you're very busy and stuff like that but you're really not and you're resting and that's fine okay but when you start lying too much and you start saying certain things, you're calling it in. Okay, so don't say, oh, I'm broke or whatever the case may be. Okay, fake busy. All right, so you got here rec reckless love and sex. All right, somebody wants to have some sort of reckless love or somebody is having some sort of reckless love. This could be your ex that we're dealing with. We're going to clarify these. Give me one more left you hanging for some of you this person left you hanging and didn't give you any closure so they could come right back around right no contact left on red all right there could be some sort of love message or maybe like a happy birthday message or something like that that you gave this person or you sent this person okay but they left you on red so you know what move on with your life okay so let's go ahead and see what is this psycho Angel guys, spirit guys, a good little like clear and precise messages for my collective. What is this psycho crazy ex obsessed won't let go? Yeah, they're heartbroken with the three of swords. They could have put you in a third party situation, or now they got placed in a thirty in a third part. 30 part somebody could be 30 um they put you in a third party situation and now they could be placed in a third party situation so they're obsessed and won't let go of you okay because the grass was not greener on the other side all right so what is this three of swords aquarius libra gemini energy what's the three of swords with won't let you go all right for some of you here there's a person that's in regret for whatever the fuck they did to you okay and they are not letting you go okay for some of you they feel really bad for what they did all right what's this three of swords for some of you they don't all right this is not gonna resonate with everybody all right so you got here king of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy all right for some of you this person went to a cancer uh cancer pisces scorpio all right what's this three of swords with the king of cups some of you you have a cancer pisces scorpio that's obsessed with you somebody from your past yeah they want to collaborate they want to work with you three of pentacles all right for some of you here you were placed in a third party situation and this person went to work with a cancer pisces scorpio all right and now they're fucked up now they're fucked up all over you all right they're thinking about you what's this king cups who is this king of cups all right, the tower, Scorpio energy. All right, somebody who's having some sort of tower moment. Okay, their foundation is rocky, so they need to it needs to crumble down. They need to rebuild all over again. Okay, for some of you here, there was somebody that was trying to avoid some sort of chaos moment. Okay, but at the end of the day, there is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini that decided to put you in a third party and decided to come um to leave you kind of like hanging what's this fake a little more the devil capricorn can i make it up 
All right, for some of you here, this person has some sort of addiction. This is obsession. They have some sort of obsession of, of uh, regarding you, who it is that you're collaborating with, who it is that you're working with, okay, or something like that. They want to see, they want to get a little bit into your life, okay? They want to see into your life and they can't for some of you. They're obsessed. They want to see into your life, but they can't. What's this tower with the devil? All right, for some of you, this person is like um, addicted to stuff or they could have some sort of addiction, all right? And they're having tower moments after tower. What's the devil with the tower? All right, the moon, Cancerian energy. All right, it could be caused by a cancer for some of you. Devil, uh, Capricorn and Cancer, they're polar opposites. Okay, but you got here the moon, the seat lies an illusion of some sort. This person is living in an illusion, for some of you, this person is realizing that this was all an illusion, that there was somebody here who wanted to break you guys up. Okay, and they're a fucking psycho. What's fake busy? The hermit. You guys are going within. You guys have isolated yourself. All right, for some of you, like I said, you guys could be saying, oh, I'm busy, I'm busy, but you're really not. You're just isolating or learning something new. Okay, with the hermit, Virgo energy. Okay, fake busy. If somebody keeps on telling you, oh, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, and they leave you on red and stuff like that, let them go. Okay, they're ghosting you. Let them go. If they don't belong in your life, they're not supposed to be there. All right, what's the hermit? With the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are working on something. You guys are very skillful at something or you're very skilled at what you do. Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles, you're very masterful at what you do or you've mastered something. Okay, and it has to do with you being within yourself, like isolated yourself and when within. What's this Hermit with Eight of Pentacles? For some of you, you feel like ghosting a job, okay, or something like that. Don't burn bridges. Seven of uh, swords. Don't burn, don't burn bridges, okay. Aquarius energy with the seven of swords. Somebody wants to steal your ideas. I see you guys working really hard on something. And I see somebody trying to come and steal that from you. Somebody here acts like they're busy, but they're really not. All right, for some of you, you guys are procrastinating. All right, you got the high priestess. You're keeping your moves silent. That's why they don't know what you got going on. They could watch all day long, but they don't see what you got going on. The high priestess. Some of you could be tarot readers. Okay, the high priestess is definitely somebody who has some sort of knowledge. You have the high priestess with, with the ghost. All right, for some of you, you guys are spiritual mediums. What's this high priestess? You have some sort of like Akashic records, Akashic um, information. Okay, some sort of like occult knowledge. And then you have the, the lovers. I was going to say the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and then the, lo the Lovers is Gemini energy. The Lovers is talking about a choice. Okay, so for some of you, you guys called this. You guys knew this was going to happen. All right, what's the Lovers? When you least expect it, that's when the Lovers is coming in. Eight of Swords, somebody's trapped in a love dynamic or something like that. They went off. They thought that they were going to have some sort of money or something like that with the Seven of Swords. They went in um, thinking they were going to come out winning. Okay, kind of like stealing, conniving or, or something like that with the lovers. So they could have dated somebody for money or something like that to steal their inheritance or something like that. Okay, with the Eight of Swords, somebody's going to jail. Either spiritual jail or mental jail or something like that. Okay, what's this Eight of Swords? 
because they don't know who to choose. They don't know what to choose. All right, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Didn't I say that? It's about an inheritance or something like that. All right, for some of you here, there's somebody here that wants to take, and it doesn't have to be like money. It could be like a spiritual gift of some sort because you have the high priestess there. It could be like you guys could be very spiritual or you guys could be tarot readers or mediums or something like that, and somebody wants to take that from you. It could have been somebody that you were with, okay, in the past with the lovers. All right, but Eight of Swords, they're trying to, to block you. For some of you, this is your own family trying to block you. All right, for some of you, this is their family trying to block them. What's this Ten of Pentacles? Somebody wants to steal your inheritance. Somebody wants to steal something that comes from your lineage. All right, the Nine of Swords, and then you have the King of Swords. Yeah, they can do that. They can't cut. They cannot come in and and take anything from you. For some of you, you're being attacked at night with nightmares or something like that with the nine of swords. This is anxiety. All right, somebody's scared here. Somebody's paranoid. They wake up in the middle of the night, multiple times in the middle of the night. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini for some of you. King of Swords is speaking their truth. Okay, so this could be somebody... For some of you here, you guys could be in this energy, especially if you're an air sign. Okay, you guys could be in this energy where you're speaking your truth and it's causing this person to have some sort of paranoia. They're starting to see him or her for who they truly are. Okay, what's reckless love and sex? What's reckless love and sex here? Somebody has some sort of addiction to sex. Okay, reckless, meaning they don't, um, that's what's keeping them hung, hung up. That's what's keeping them in the hangman, in the lays. Okay, they could be spreading their wand or their wop everywhere and with everyone. Okay, probably even catching shit with the sex, reckless love, and the hangman. They need to see things from a different perspective. What's this hangman with the reckless love and sex? Pisces energy. Alright, with the hangman, also... There is definitely, yeah, the sun. Something is getting exposed or somebody got exposed to something with the sun. And the hangman. Somebody got exposed to something. Or you're exposing this person. What's the sun with the hangman and the reckless love? The hangman typically talks about letting go. Okay, so for some of you... You're letting go of this person because there's been two... Yeah, they're a fucking... They're a slut. They're a whore. Okay, queen of wands. Okay, somebody who spreads their wand around or their wop around. They could be in divine feminine. Okay, very comf confident, very energetic, very determined here. What's this queen of wands doing with the sun? For some of you, you could be exposing uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, all right, yeah, Ten of Wands, and they're very burdened, all right, they cannot see themselves getting out of a situation here, there's a lot of hurdles, okay, with the Ten of Wands, for some of you here, that's, this, this person could have gotten some sort of, like, um, something, and scared the shit out of them, what's this Ten of Wands? It doesn't necessarily have to be, like, they got an STD. Maybe they were, like, they did something and they got scared with this person or something like that. What's the Queen of Wands with the Ten of Wands with the Queen of Swords? Or uh, the Queen of Swords here. Some of you could be in a same-sex connection. All right, Queen of Swords is very logical. All right, you got the Queen of Swords here with Fake Busy, and then you had the Queen of Swords. I mean, the King of Swords here, Fake Busy, and then the Queen of Swords over here. For some of you here, you're cutting people off left and right. Whoever comes in and wants to, like, have sex or something like that, if they want to have sex, you're like, come hither. I'm going straight for your jugular. I'm cutting your head off. I don't want it. I don't want anything like that. I'm very logical. All right, for some of you, you guys are divorcing somebody. All right, you're seeing things from a different perspective. You could be divorcing this person because they have reckless love. They have reckless sex with other people. Okay, for some of you here, this Queen of Swords is you. You could be speaking your truth on this Aries Leo Sag. What's this Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords here? 
right? For some of you here, you guys are very sexy, very good looking, and you guys are very smart with it, okay? And it's causing this person to, to have some sort of burdens, okay? You could have exposed this person or you could have told this person this already. What is this energy spirit? All right, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so yeah, love bomb. Somebody wants to love you. Somebody wants you. Ace of Cups. Somebody wants to reach out to you. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, you got the Knight of Wands. Yeah, but they're a slut. They're a hoe. They're lusty. Okay, they come around for a good time. They leave. All right, so if somebody's coming in for a good time and you don't want that. Okay, so somebody that comes in, they're fickle. All right, somebody could be younger than you. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sag for some of you. All right, they're very fickle. They could be coming in with some sort of love offer, but all that love offer is going to do is cause some sort of burden. What's the Knight of Wands? What's the Knight of Wands? I'm out of Cups. Five of... <clears throat> Somebody's being left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. Virgo towards Capricorn. With the Five of Pentacles, somebody definitely is being left out in the cold here. The grass was not greener on the other side. For some of you, this person chose wrong. They chose a younger person with a big wand, with whatever, or something like that. They picked wrong. What's this Five of Pentacles? So that's why, for some of you, this person ghosted you, okay, for this person to have some sort of reckless love, reckless let, reckless sex. What's the Five of Pentacles? They're being left out in the cold now. All right, for some of you, that's what they wanted. They were greedy. They were selfish. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too, okay? They wanted to, to have um, ultimatums in a relationship or something like that. Nine of, Nine of Cups is like selfish. Okay, with the Five of Pentacles, that's why they're being left out in the cold. All right, for some of you, this person that you were dealing with went off to find somebody who was hot, somebody who was like um, a sexual, had money or something like that. The grass was not greener on the other side. So left you hanging, no closure, no contact, left them red. For some of you here, you could be dealing with a Pisces. This is giving me hangman uh, energy, All right? Letting go, sacrifice, pause, new perspective. For some of you, the reason why they didn't give you closure is to have this on a pause so that they could come back in. Okay, so for some of you, don't get caught up in that shit. What is no closure, no contact, left on red, left you hanging, All right? With the seven of wands, yeah, you need to set healthy boundaries. Okay, now is your time to defend yourself. Right, you're like, namaste, stay the fuck away. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want anything um, to do with this. Seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Wands? You need to defend, so for some of you, you need to defend yourself. Or they didn't even give you a chance to defend yourself. And for some of you, you don't even want to defend yourself. You're like, you know what? I'm going to cut my losses. I'm better off. Okay, so what's the Seven of Wands? What's the Seven of Wands? Whenever they come back in, and they will come back in, whoever leaves you on red, whoever ghosts you and stuff like that, they usually come back. Okay, so you need to set healthy boundaries. You need to protect yourself from them. All right, for some of you, this could be a baby daddy, emperor, Aries energy. Okay, it could be a boss figure for some of you. All right, but the emperor. What's the Seven of Wands with the emperor? You need to protect yourself from this person. What's the emperor? For some of you here, while they left you hanging, you bossed up. You bossed up and you bossed up and you became an emperor. You became very a leader. You became <clears throat> um very strategic. Okay, a father figure for some of you. A boss leader, a, a boss. What's the seven of wands with the emperor spirit? Right, the magician manipulation all right you could be like manifesting things for some of you you are the magician okay for some of you here you could be like manifesting things into reality all right if you guys are calling in this person just know that you're gonna re they're gonna be calling you okay with the magician you guys could be manifesting this person back okay for some of you here this person's a narcissist of some sort they were very manipulative the emperor is very manipulative 
and so is a magician. They manipulate things into their into their liking. But what's the magician here with the emperor? Magician is Gemini energy. Queen of Pentacles. Now they see you as this person. Very reliable, very resourceful. Okay, making good investments. If you want a wifey, this is the wifey you want. If you want a hubby, this is the hubby you want. Okay, it doesn't matter the gender. They could be in their divine feminine at this time. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles with the magician could be a green witch. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag. I got here. What's this Queen of Pentacles with the magician? For some of you, you are the, the Queen of Pentacles because you are very reliable, very resourceful. For some of you, you guys are very spiritual. Okay, for some of you, you guys are herbal witches, green witches, white witches, whatever. You guys are manifesting things into reality. Just make sure that what you're manifesting is good for you. Okay, so if this baby daddy who had reckless love and got exposed to shit and was very fickle, now they're left out in the cold, they're going to reach out to you and you're going to be like, okay, well, we don't have any closure. We never got any closure, so let's go ahead and have an intention. Let's go ahead and try to uh, have some sort of closure now. Okay, it's going to go really bad because this person went out to find something else better than you. So you guys have to love yourself and value yourself. All right, so what's the Queen of Pentacles with the Magician? As above, so below. All right, yeah, they missed an opportunity. Somebody feels like they missed an opportunity with this Queen of Pentacles. All right, I'm bored. Nostalgic energy, also apathy. Okay, with the uh, Four of Cups. I could have. What can I have done differently? I should have. All right, with the Four of Cups. Rejection. They rejected you. And now you guys bust up. All right, rejection is a form of protection. It's almost like they rejected you and it's almost like your spirit guides and your ancestors got in there and they wanted that to happen so that you could learn from it. That was supposed to be a catalyst for your growth. So, what's the four of uh, cups? You guys can be seeing four, four, four a lot. All right, seven of cups. 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, will be one cup, two cups, seven of cups, a lot of confusion, there's, this person's very confused, or has a lot of options, or that's what they were in, but look at them, they're in the dark, all right, all these cups have something, they have temptation, all right, they have jewels, they have victory, they have good looks, they have spirit, all right, they have a snake, and that's what they chose, to be a fucking snake so you know what for some of you you're leaving this person in the dark you're leaving this person in the back all right for some of you this person drinks a lot okay with the seven of cups four cups right they could have had some sort of missed opportunity because of um illusions they were living an illusion what's the seven of cups cancer pisces scorpio what's the seven of cups the judgment with the six yeah the judgment what's in the bottom the hierophant yeah so look you got the chariot somebody could be at a distance okay this is like you taking your power back or somebody coming in or rushing in all right with the with the chariot okay this is somebody from your past all right this is the time traveler okay returning to one's old roots for some of you you're dealing with a cancer okay and then you have judgment all right, a reconciliation, an awakening of some sort. This person's going through an awakening. Is somebody from your past, but you know what? You guys are meant to be growing. You guys are meant to awaken from it. Okay, what's his love message here? What's his love message in the bottom of the deck? All right, King of Wands. King of Wands came out in the reverse. Let me clarify that. King of Wands with the love message. For some of you, this message that's coming in is just for sex be smarter than that yeah king of wands in the reverse all right very tired as a tyrant arrogant okay somebody who thinks their shit don't stink and they're coming in with some sort of like small offer some sort of small pebble you don't want that shit all right this is like a little love message of some sort to put it on you you're gonna realize that you don't want to be with this person or you're gonna realize very soon in that this person only wants to have sex or something like that you're not in the energy okay because you guys are healed all right, Page of Cups. 
right? Three of Wands in the bottom of the deck. So you're waiting on your ships to come in. All right, and let's go ahead and expose some of these people. Angel Guys, Spirit Guides, Good Living Life for my collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. For my collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Clear and precise messages. All right, so we got one claiming credit over your success. I told you that earlier. There's somebody here that's trying to take credit for your success or whatever you got going on because you're bossing up. All right, or they claim that because you have bossed up, it's because of them. Not the case. Who's this crazy obsessed won't let go psycho? Who is this crazy ex obsessed that won't let go? They claim I did it first knowing damn well that they got inspired by you. This is some fucking copycat. Somebody who's trying to copy your every move. All right. They say that I did it. They say they did it. Okay, they got inspired by you or something like that. For some of you, you need to take a spiritual bath because you're under attack. Okay, so take a spiritual bath. Who's this devil? What's here in the devil? The devil. Capricorn energy. All right, so they're mad because they see you winning. Virgo energy. Okay, so do you see how she's carrying the lantern? For some of you, you need to do some white candle work okay so that it could be like purity so purity could come in the person causing you negativity is a fire sign so uh aries leo sag for some of you this person is really obsessed with you all right what's reckless love here what's reckless love reckless love personality disorder for some of you this person has a sexual addiction they have a personality disorder they could be like manic one minute they don't want sex one minute they want all the sex so the personality disorder they don't know who how to be themselves for some of you this person needs other people to validate them all right for some of you you guys have grown from that you guys don't need validation you're holding complete all by yourselves okay so that's the kind of like with reckless love and personality disorder this person just is, is like gay for pay sex pay pay for sex i don't know somebody here gets paid for sex all right causing you to lose your appetite it makes you sick to your fucking stomach but that's what they're doing all right what's left you hanging here what's left you hanging all right hate tweets towards you petty birds tweet tweet they can write things on their social media accounts or something like that about you okay so they left you hanging they can write like certain things that like hate messages or something like that all right, you need to possess an amulet. This keeps on coming out for a lot of you. There could be a couple of Aquariuses in this reading. Okay, so you need to possess an amulet and have it with you. Somebody could be a photographer or taking pictures or something like that. All right, you need to get some sort of possess an amulet, have it blessed for protection. All right, let's see. What's this emperor? All right, pyrite. For some of you, whatever you do, it could be like with computers and phones and stuff like that. Okay, um, IT, you need to get yourself a crystal called pyrite. This is what it looks like, it's super shiny. Okay, so pyrite. It helps shield you from the harmful effects that technology can have on the mind and on the body. For some of you here, I'm just getting an x-ray person, somebody who does x-rays, make sure you stand behind the door or behind the wall. All right, somebody could be getting like extra radiation or something like that. All right, so be careful with that. Pyrite, you need to get yourself some pyrite that helps you crystals help if you guys need to find out more information on crystals moon faces and stuff like that purchase my book okay it's called an awakening a person's guide to healing and manifesting it's on amazon in the description box i'm going to put an amazon link towards the bottom and you guys can go straight there all right it's helping a lot of people so if it's something that you guys are interested in you're more than welcome to purchase it all right what's this judgment i feel like you're going through an awakening of some sort all right you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening here yes cedar Right, some of you could live in Cedar Lane. Some of you could. Live, so I used to live in a Cedar, um, a Cedar Lane. So Cedar, 
right? Cedar could be significant, but fresh, woodsy smell, cleanse new home of old energies. If you guys have a new home or something like that, because you had the three of wands in the bottom of the deck, you guys are waiting on your ships to come in. This could be looking at land or something like that. If you have a new home or something like that, you need to go ahead and burn some cedar. All right, it helps um, the home of its old energies. It cleanses the home of its old energies, unwanted spirits, while inviting fresh energetic buyers and protecting new occupants. Okay, so for some of you, you could be like in real estate or something like that. If you guys are trying to sell houses or something like that, go in there with like some palo santo and sage it okay or get some cedar or something that smells like cedar so that you could remove the bad energy and have good energy coming in what is this um judgment All right you guys are definitely calling judgment on somebody here um or they're going through a major judgment and it could be a cancer for some of you with the chariot okay cancerian energy yeah cancer pisces scorpio Libra with the judgment. Scorpio. What's this judgment? Right, this judgment. This person's a business rival. Okay, for some of you, they cannot stand to see what you do. All right, so they might be coming in to reconcile with you to get you off your purpose. You guys do not let that shit happen. Okay, because you guys are being warned right now. Okay. Your ancestors are coming back from the grave with a judgment. Your ancestors are watching over you. They have a wake-up call for you. They're letting you know somebody from your past is coming back around, right? This is somebody who you had a past life with. You see this guy right here? This is the time traveler, right? He didn't even belong in this picture. But yeah, this is like returning to one's old roots, right? Somebody's going to come in and give you some sort of like offer or something like that. This is some reconciliation of some sort, okay? They want to give now, all right? So what's the Six of Cups? because they're secretly jealous of you all right they secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship for some of you you know what i'm also picking up here like somebody went off and went to be with somebody but this person has so many um insecurities about you that all they do is remind this person of you Okay, so it's like, how could this person forget you if they, all they do is remind them of you? It's, th this person has some sort of insecurity. The King of Wands in the reverse. It could be an Aries Leo Sag that they're dealing with. What's this King of Wands in the reverse here? Spreading rumors about you. Okay, for some of you, this person is saying that you're the whore, that you're the jealous person, that you're this, that you're that. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you're better off without these people. Okay, it's better off that you didn't get any closure because you had to close it by yourself. Okay, you don't need validation from other people. You're whole and complete by yourself. When you were born, you weren't born with this person. Okay, so this person thinks that you are all about them or something like that. You've learned your lessons. All right, anything else, Spirit? All right, for some, look, Spirit Team. Your Spirit Team has your back. You guys are divinely protected. Okay, whatever the fuck they want to do, let them do. Okay, ancestors, angels, spirit, guides, gods, goddesses got your back. All right. Some of you could be losing things and stuff like that. That's the trickster spirit. That's some sort of like manipulation, some sort of magic with the magician showing up here and this queen of pentacles. All right. For some of you, this is like a mother figure that's doing magic on you. This person's mother could be doing magic on you. All right. Let's see how they feel about you. How does this person feel about the collective how does this person feel about the collective all right king of swords that you're going to cut them off that you're very logical that you're very smart all right aquarius libra gemini for some of you it came out sideways so for some of you this person thinks that you're a little bitter towards them and you're not you've forgiven them you've already moved on with your life okay so what's this king of swords here for some of you, this person doesn't want to reach out to you because they know that you're highly defending yourself, okay, or that you're setting some sort of healthy boundaries or something like that with the Seven of Wands, all right? They don't want to disturb you because you know, they know that you're going to cut them. You're going to go straight for their drug dealer, okay? Whatever it is, you guys could be like very witty when it comes to your voice, all right? So speaking your truth here with the Seven of Wands, yeah, you're protecting yourself. Namaste, stay the fuck away, okay? Um... 
for some of you, you need to protect yourself from an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, what is this? A Capricorn with a devil. For some of you here, there's someone here that has addictions of some sort. What's the devil? Some of you are fighting some sort of addiction. Okay, if you guys have addiction, you're fighting some sort of addiction, you're going to cut it cold turkey. Okay, you're seeing that this is not helping you. All right, so you're you're setting some sort of healthy boundary. What is the devil? What's the devil? All right, yeah, page of pentacles. You need to protect yourselves. For some of you, you need to do a return to sender. Okay, page of pentacles with the devil. There's There could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Capricorn, heavy Capricorn with the page of pentacles. All right, doing some sort of like divination. Okay, what's the Page of Pentacles? What are they doing? To cause what? You not to sleep at night? For some of you, this person's doing magic at night. You guys are waking up at 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay, this person's doing magic and they attack you at night because it's the only time that they could attack you because you're under some sort of sleeping. You're, you're under some sort of like dream state or something like that. You're a little bit more vulnerable. Because during your waking hours... Nobody could fucking touch you because you guys are heavily protected by your spirit team and you by yourself. You guys could be protecting yourselves, all right, by doing, like, protection rituals and stuff like that. What's this Nine of Swords spirit with this Page of Pentacles? All right, the Seven of Swords. Aquarius energy. All right, for some of you, you are Aquariuses here dealing with this. All right, Seven of Swords. They want to steal from you. They want to steal your inheritance. They want to steal your your lineage, your spiritual alignment. They want to steal anything that is good for you. They want to take it from you. Okay, you don't need somebody like that in your life. All right, with the Seven of Swords, that's very conniving. A thief, a liar, somebody who just wants to steal from you. They're stealing your sleep. They're stealing your 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 time. Time is fucking precious. You don't want to be wasting your time on this shit. What's the Page of Pentacles? What's the Page of Pentacles? Queen of Cups. For some of you, this is like a mother figure too. All right. This could be a person that they went to, a psychic, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. With the Queen of Pen with the Queen of Cups here, or it's a mother figure that's doing some sort of magic. Okay. For some of you here, this mother figure could be like holding things from this person. Like, if you've talked to this person, if you've talked to this mother figure and said something nice about this person, they're holding that. They're not telling this person anything or something like that. Petty, petty, petty bullshit. All right, give me one more, and I'm going to close this, this reading. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. All right, I'm sorry, I got a phone call. Um, What's this Queen of, what's this queen of Cups? All right, the Hermit. Yeah, go with it. All right, isolating, you're isolating yourself, you're going within, okay, with the hermit. All right, for some of you, this mother figure could have told this person, ghost him, ghost him, or ghost her, ghost her. Okay, for some of you here with the hermit, you guys are going through some sort of like introspection or self-introspection. Solitude. What's this hermit? I feel like you guys are healed. I feel like you guys went within and you guys healed yourselves. You guys could be like reading self-help books or even making a self-help book or something like that for some of you with the hermit. Yeah, and then you have the Knight of Wands. You need to put things into action. Then you have the Queen of Swords. So the Queen, Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. For some of you, there's someone here that's going to come in and talk or discuss something or you have been waiting on this person to discuss something it could be a father figure there's going to be some sort of hasty communication that comes in okay or something like that with the world for some of you this is going to be online okay for some of you you're going to be traveling soon with the world aquarius taurus leo scorpio energy all right everything that you have missed out on or whatever you've lost you're about to regain for some of you, you guys are going online all right or whatever it is that you do is going to be viral or is going to go viral all right so sending you love and light to every single one of you guys peace love and prosperity all right love you if you guys um want to book a personal reading with me please check the description box below all the information will be found there all right if you guys are interested in my book all the information will be found there if you guys need me text me i am here um whenever you need me peace